so the the ostensibly these these chemicals are being used six billion pounds globally per year because of pest control. They're also being used on our children's parks and golf courses and all over the place. They're invisible, they're tasteless, and they are directly toxic to our cellular biology. So they're pesticides. Side is the word for the act of killing. So herbicides, insecticides, fungicides. And they are so toxic that 20% of all suicides globally are performed by drinking pesticides. And yet we're told by our government that they're totally safe. There's this, this one, will, this <laughs> one will shock you. Uh, but you look at, so, you know, the largest merger ever done in Germany was Bayer Monsanto, where Bayer, uh, which is a pharmaceutical company merged with Monsanto, which is an agrochemical company in the United States. Um, if you look at what uh, Bayer makes, they make cancer drugs for things like non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. And if you look at what Monsanto makes, which is Roundup, which is the most widely used pesticide in America, the cancer that it uh, causes is non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. They've paid out $11 billion in the past couple of years for non-Hodgkin's lymphoma cases. So the companies are merging that are directly known to cause the disease with a medical company that has a treatment for the disease. Like this is very, very dark. And um, so it, like Callie said, you know, it's kind of this revolving door uh, between create the illness, treat the illness, and hide the science that tells but, us what's happening. But but this is all a result of the food industry wanting food cheaper. And we spend per capita half as much on food as as they do in Europe. Uh, but we spend three times more per capita on healthcare. So I, my big point to everyone is this is not the free market at work. This is food companies lobbying to have neurotoxins and endocrine disrupting chemicals on our food that, it, that's, that are toxic, that aren't allowed on any other food in any other developed country in order to make food a lot cheaper. And then to your point about, you know, what does the, um, what do these chemicals do? It increases estrogen. Um, and, you know, these kids are inhaling hormone disrupting chemicals. So and now the, 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 the New York Times recently had a front page article uh, that puberty rates, uh, particularly among women in the United States, are plummeting. Uh, or, people are hitting puberty younger. years earlier. Younger. People, girls how, are hitting how puberty. Young? The average girl in America is getting hitting puberty, which is sexual maturity, six years earlier than they were in 1900. We have the earliest puberty rates of any continent in the world. It's age 10 and 10 to 13. And this is in large part thought to do because of we are literally giving children estrogen with all the plastics we're ingesting, which are xenoestrogens, meaning they are exogenous artificial estrogens and the pesticides, which can activate the estrogen receptors like atrazine. I mean, you can put atrazine, which is a pesticide that we spray uh, about 70 million pounds of in the US every year. It's not legal in Europe, but it's sold to us from international it's countries. It's not legal in Europe? No, you cannot use it. And you put this on a developing male frog embryo and it turns into a female frog. That's how much of an estrogen disrupting, an estrogen or an endocrine disrupting chemical that it is. And so these chemicals are not inert. And again, because we can cherry pick science and so much of these science, I mean, these papers are PR papers paid for by industry. The Monsanto papers was a huge thing that, you know, a, a revelation. They had to declassify these documents that Monsanto had basically ghostwritten scientific papers to say that these chemicals are safe. You're going to realize, oh, he's so bad because he's telling me things I kind of suspected were true. I mean, I was doing an interview yesterday with Bobby Kennedy, a, really an amazing interview. And right in the middle of it, he's like, you know, atrazine, you know, it can... It can change the sex of frogs. And I, um, he was on a roll, so I didn't want to interrupt him. I was like, I think Alex Jones made that point like 15 years ago and was mocked. And now it's just the science. You were described as a lunatic, like a mental patient needing like full-time care because you were such a danger to yourself and society when you said that. Turning the frogs gay. And now it's just like, well, that's just the science. That's the science. It's the science. You know, and when is someone going to call Alex Jones and be like, hey, Alex Jones, um, you were right about the frogs. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well